and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for November 22. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video, I already covered the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, Black Friday is happening right now. There's multiple sales with tons of awesome stuff discounted. There's the UNT Asset Store, all of the best assets are on sale, and some flash deals at 70% off. The Sinti Store is also having a sale, so if you need some gorgeous low poly packs, check it out. And finally, there's a Humble Bundle, all about learning Blender 3D modeling at 98% off. So if there's any assets you need, then now's the time to get them. Alright, so starting off with an interesting tool for helping your shaders in many ways. You can customize the shader inspector, making it much more intuitive. You can also very easily create some gradients, including having parts in the gradient in AGR for some really interesting effects. Another great feature is the ability to pass an animation curve to your shaders instead of being limited to just instant floats. Definitely a pretty interesting tool with a bunch of options that enables you to massively improve your shaders. Up next, here is Volumetric Lights. This is actually one of the assets that I'm using in my own game, Total War Liberation. By the way, go ahead and add it to your wishlist. For the trailer, I wanted the scene at night with some spooky lights, although regular lights do not have a visible light shaft. That's where volumetric lights come in, and that's exactly what this tool does. It's super easy to use, you just attach a script to the light, and it works instantly. Also has tons of options for making the light more or less transparent, make the edges fade or not, and you can even add some nice flying bugs as a nice particle system. So if you have lights in your game, definitely make them volumetric to get that extra look. Then an interesting tool that is very useful if your game has lots of text, it's a audio text synchronizer. Like the name implies, it lets you synchronize text alongside specific points in the audio. So you can use it to showcase subtitles at the perfect time word for word. It features an easy to use editor where you can easily add all of the timings. So this one is a simple thing, but if your game is text heavy, it can add quite a lot of extra polish. Next, here we have a fun, simple tool. It's all about adding shake to any object. I'm always a fan of tools that do just one thing, but do it extremely well. This one has tons of presets to get the object shaking exactly as you want it. You can make it shake up, down, left, right, rotate. You can make it sign based. You can make it cool off over time. There's tons of presets making it very easy to use. Next up is a fun tool that showcases the benefits of dots. This one is a mesh slicer. Usually this is a pretty computationally intensive task. Cutting a mesh in half at runtime is pretty difficult, but with the power of dots, it's definitely possible. This one works in a fraction of a millisecond, so you can really get much better than that. The demo is like Fruit Ninja, but naturally you can use it for anything you want. Like for example, building an awesome system like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. For a nice UI tool, here we have a procedural mesh tool. It helps you dynamically generate meshes for your UI, making them really nice and smooth and extremely customizable. Rather than drawing a ton of textures with all kinds of circular edges, you can just use this tool to make them all really nice and dynamic. So it's a pretty great tool for adding that extra bit of polish to all of your UI. If you're working on an action or fighting game, take a look at this combo animation system. It features a custom editor where you can drag and drop nodes to make all of your combos. It looks like a really nice tool for quickly getting a hack and slash game up and running. Then an interesting tool called Shadograph Baker. What it does is you can write a shader in Shadograph and then export the results onto a texture. So you can make all kinds of interesting textures which could then be inputs for all kinds of complex shaders. But instead of having to run the generation logic all the time, you just run it once and bake all the data into a texture. It's a pretty interesting tool with some nice use case. Next up, we have some clickable handles. Basically, it's a collection of attributes which makes it insanely easy to, for example, define a vector 3 and position it visually in the world instead of manually writing the text values. You can add lines between the points, add some labels, add elements to an array. You can add handles to other objects and show them all at the same time. Again, all of it by just adding a simple attribute, so it's super simple to use. And then we have another tool that also does exactly what you expect. It keeps your camera at a constant width. So you no longer have problems with some players seeing too much when using super wide resolutions. As the resolution widens or shrinks, the field of view is automatically modified to match. Alternatively, you also have the option of always keeping the same field of view, but dynamically adding some black bars to the sides. 
If your game design is dependent on the player seeing only exactly what you want them to see, then this looks like a very useful and simple tool. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity S Store for November 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.